Hi! It's Friday. It is. And we have so much space around us. And why is that, Lindsay? Uh, we're filming with a phone instead of a camera. So yeah. it just looks different to me. Um, it looks very different. Clint mm -hmm. has the camera. He's doing camera work with the camera. I don't know what he's doing. But it's involving the camera. So we get the phone and you get us too. He is filming um, how to connect a Cirrus 620. How to connect? So, how to how to attach it to the truck because it's a truck camper. So uh, yeah, we planned on doing that this morning, but you know things don't always stay on time. Anyway, it's mid July. It is stinking hot here. No, yesterday it dropped like 20 degrees in 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. Oh, go outside. It feels good. Really? Mm -hmm. It won't feel like that tomorrow, but right now it feels good. Wow, what temperature is it? Mm -hmm. Keep asking me the questions I don't know the answer to. Well, I know that on Sunday when we were at your house for your son's birthday party, it was 111. <gasps> it was horrible. 111. It was torture. There was a bouncy house with a like water slide and a like pool of water that you fall into, and it was too hot for that. Too hot for anything. But yeah. we made it through. Yes. Happy Friday. Um, our usual questions, please drop in the comments. Tell us where you're watching from, uh, any trips you just got back from, uh, any trips you plan on taking soon. We love to hear about it and hear about new places. Mike. Get out of here with your overnight low of 82. That oh, sounds like goodness. a dream. I'll even take 90. I'll take 95. 82. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's even too hot to sit outside like after the sun goes down. Oh, yeah. It's still like... It's still... Uh, it's still in triple digits until like 11 o'clock at night. So, oh well. Anyway, we're just big whiners. Well, I'm just done talking about the heat. Like it's hot. <laughs> okay. Um, Dana, I see you watching. Say hi. I take anything less than a hundred. <laughs> Nikki, guys, if you have not yet, please go click on Nikki's profile. She is doing a salsa fundraiser right now for Brielle to get her over to Boston Children's Hospital um, next year for her annual, I believe, appointment with the specialists up there. So it's like fresh homemade salsa that they make and then they deliver to you and it helps them get to the hospital. So if you don't know their story, if you don't follow them on YouTube, um, go ahead and do that and everybody likes salsa. So I'm not sure if they can ship or if they have to deliver it. But talk to Nikki about that. And it's Nikki Drew. Nikki Drews. Drews. Right. There's an S at the end. Right. Nikki Drews. I'm going to add it to the broadcast again so you can click on her name right there. Um, salsa fundraiser going on right now. We love our community and taking care of each other. And this is part of that. They are part of our community, part of our RV family, as are all of you. So we've want we to all share that information. Help each other. Yep. That's how this works. Amethyst. Good morning from Washington State. It's supposed to be 80 today. Oh. <sighs> Washington State. My sister lives in Washington State. What city? How coincidental. My daughter lives in Washington State. That's crazy. Uh, what city does she live in? Vancouver. Vancouver, Washington. Mm -hmm. um, Just so. above Portland. Amethyst, do you have a trailer? What kind of trailer do you have? Mike is, I'm sorry, my, the computer mouse is like real glitchy and I am having trouble seeing. Heading to Tennessee and North Carolina on Sunday afternoon for two weeks. Sounds lovely. Camped mm. last weekend in the heat, 103, not fun. Well, no kidding. Was it a little fun though? Like a little bit of fun? Just did a you little? just sit inside your trailer <laughs> the whole time, or did you try to take hikes in the morning? Uh, how did you How did you camp in 103 heat? How did that go? And where is Where were you camping in 103 degree heat? Uh, thank you. We're going to Boston in September. Yes, everybody, help 
Brielle, get to Boston, buy some salsa. I love salsa, wish I could be there. Well, you don't need to be there. You just need to order it and they send it to you, right? I think they can ship. Maybe Nikki can chime in on that. I'm not sure if they can ship because it is like fresh salsa. Uh, Nikki, um, let us know. How does that work? Can you ship it? But if they cannot ship and you want to donate, they also take donations as well. Um, I'm in Vancouver too. No way! That's wow. where my sister is! Go find her. <laughs> Yeah, she's living in a vintage cruiser. No, she's not. She's living in a Vista, Vista cruiser. Vista cruiser. You're uh, right. Which is a trailer, and her name is Jackie, and she's amazing. So if you find her, tell her I said yeah. hi. Tell her hello. Amethyst, I'm going to get a trailer. Don't have one yet, but doing a ton of research. Money is too tight to buy at this time. I love the hybrid trailers and also the little pop-ups. Awesome, keep researching, that's uh, important. Ooh, I need to get some if they do ship. Yes, I will let you know. Carrie, hiya from Wellington, Colorado. It's 87 degrees. In well, sounds Wellington. like we just need to get the heck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have an idea, Lindsay. What? Let's go camping. Okay. All right, somewhere else. Sadly, we can't ship, we need to start looking into that. They cannot ship. Um, they also have camping stickers you can buy. And yeah, Nikki, if you just have any type of plugs you want to put in the comments, Aww. please do so. Um, Where are you, Nikki? So if people want to come by or contact you about getting some nearby. They're in Dallas. Are you, you're in the Dallas area or somewhere. Or Houston? Dallas or Houston. I, I don't know. I don't we know. I forget. I'm where sorry. You are. So let us know so we can pass that along. DG, I am looking for an affordable trailer under 2,000 pounds. Well, for, mm. what does affordable mean? Yeah, give us a number. And, give us and, an idea. Yeah, maybe we have some suggestions for you. So she is at one of the RV parks? Yes. yes. I don't know which one. Neither do I. But she's there somewhere. Um, stayed in the camper or water, done camping till fall. Totally wiped you out camping in 103 heat, huh? Um, yeah. yeah That's when you bring out like the board so games, hard. the card games, you uh, Netflix all day. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. Netflixing, Netflixing in the camper is just fun. Well, Is it's it kind real of like camping? a slumber party mm. and you kind of just get away. Yeah. You know? I like it. You can't like... I'm, I'm the queen of doing three things at once, but when you're in the camper watching Netflix, you can't do the laundry, you can't, you know, like, think about all the things that you could be doing. You're just checked out. That's like of one of my world. favorite parts about camping. Really? Is you don't have to think about laundry. <laughs> like, you just, you have no option. You cannot do you it. You cannot do and laundry. And so you just don't think about it. Um, it's the small things, Lindsay. I know. It's, <laughs> it's my favorite. It's 80 degrees, 10.30 a.m. in Northern California. Oh, beautiful. Northern California. Beautiful. What's your budget, DG, so we can give you some ideas? Jason. Hi, Jason. I tent camped last weekend. Need to buy a trailer camper. Wish y'all still rented them. Yeah. Sometimes mm. we do, too. And uh, it, it might come back in the future. But well, we, we have talked about it, and we definitely want to do it. So I would love to tell you it's coming back by the end of the year. But what I can tell you is we're trying to figure out how to get it going again, maybe this fall. So stay in touch. So, Jason, you tent camped in Texas last weekend? <sighs> no. It was 110 last weekend. So when I say, uh, you just hang out in your camper all day, what did you do? Like, seriously, how did you survive being outside that you camp next to a river? I, and just spend the entire day in the river? I mean, you just can't get out of the river. Is the river on fire? Uh, <laughs> under 15000 All right, a camper under 2,000 pounds, under $15,000. Hmm. Well, a bushwhacker. Yep, yeah, the bushwhacker would be a really good choice, actually. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else. Uh, would a A-liner Scout Light? 
I mean, I think they're about mm, fifteen. There'll be thousand. a route in there, a, a, somewhere like that. Yeah, the Scout Light is small. It's like a the A liner total. Boop, boop. It's like nine or ten boop, boop. box. Boop boop. Um, boop boop. But it's boop, something you boop, can stand boop, up in. Boop boop. Sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> Go ahead. Have some fun. <laughs> But, but the Bushwhacker is a smaller trailer. It is, you know, economically built. It is not uh, the same quality as a new camp a tag, which is what we love, but it'll get you out there camping and lightweight. I can't tell you exactly how much, but definitely under 2,000. So, but it is one that you crawl in, you can't stand up in. But you got a lot of features and you got a nice kitchen on the back, so. Yeah, those are our two best ideas. Amethyst, come camping up in Oregon. It's beautiful along the coast and near Mount Hood. I've been to Oregon once and I like drove through it and I swear I've never seen anything more beautiful. Something about Oregon, like it is the air is gorgeous. just beautiful and um, I, I loved it there. We're in Fort Worth. We're making it in Lake Charles, Louisiana and have someone helping us get it to the Houston area. Nice. Okay. Okay, here is the page that you guys can go like right here. Special circumstances spelled like this. You can search for it on Facebook or on YouTube because they do, they have a YouTube channel where they do videos um, about camping in their tag, about Brielle, all kinds of stuff. So um, I'll put it up one more time. Go search for special sir camp stances. Um, if you want to know about their fundraisers in the future or how you can help support them. Not to mention camping at the Oregon coast is nice and cool with so many things to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to Oregon. DG, I have a teardrop for sale on the Teardrop Marketplace. Hey, perfect. Hey, this is what we love to see, people coming together. All right, Teardrop Marketplace. Is that a Facebook group that he can find? Um, if you... I don't know if you can copy and paste the group in the comments so he can find it. Uh, we totally welcome stuff like that uh, for you guys to hook up, mm -hmm. find something that works for you. My budget is, I know. sorry, the comments are delayed a little bit, so we probably asked for it after you typed it, but we didn't see it yet, so sorry about that. Jason, Goose Island, where's Goose Island? Uh, Goose Island? Mm. Is Goose Island, there's a Goose Island in Canada, right? Or oh. Goose Island in... Hong Kong. I don't know, there's a place in North, I can always get it mixed up. Goose Bay is in Canada. Goose Island is like North Carolina. Okay, so I you think. weren't camping in Texas, thank God. No. Princess Craft, I was even thinking about taking think. an older model trailer and renovating it if I could not afford a newer one. Always a good choice. And there's like a million Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. um, that will help you with that, give you ideas. Yes. Carrie, what model? I love this. Y'all are syncing up. Boop, 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 boop. Little guy four by eight. Ooh. Ah, it's a little guy uh, four wide. Nice. I had a little water cooler type AC, but fished and went to a bar for a beat and greet tournament <laughs> weigh-in, et cetera. <laughs> Well, That's the way to do that it. sounds, yeah. Okay, so if you're not watching Netflix in your trailer when it's 110 outside, you need to go to the bar. You go to the bar. I think both of those are good choices. Your portable AC did not cool very well, so I sent it back. Does anyone have a portable AC that works, that they like? Jason needs suggestions. Yeah, some of them are super expensive, too. And, you know, Hola. they need to work. Oh, hey, it's Valerie. Sorry, Valerie, you're showing up as Facebook user, but I see you right here on my phone. Hi, Valerie. How are you doing? Great group and amazing people. We love you, Valerie. Rockport. Oh, you were in Texas. You Goose insane. Island in Rockport. How did I not know that? I have no idea. Everybody else knows State Park in Texas. Yeah. There's a Goose Island in Rockport. <laughs> Thank you, Kimberly. We're all right. We're slow. How did we miss all that? We're from Texas. I have never camped on Goose Island. Well. Apparently. There's a Goose Island. <laughs> you guys are all good. I, <laughs> I am behind in the comments. We will not screw this up again. I am I not. I promise you. Oh, my gosh. The, we are late to all these comments. Hold on. You could also look in the small, high wall campers like the Rockwood pop-ups. God, I can't get this to work. 
And the A-liner pop-ups? Yes, exactly. That A-liner scout light, it might be pushing the price, but it would be nice to stand up. I have a Goose Island in the fridge. Gonna crack one open now that you mention it. <laughs> oh yeah, send one over here, Mike. Without Clint here to work this stuff, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need some kind of beer. Uh, let's see, Angela, late but here, Angela. Yes, planning your camping trip. Don't matter if you're late. We're just glad you're here. Yes, glad you made it. We've been talking about how hot it isn't in and some other places. And we're not going to talk about how hot it is here anymore because... No more. No more complaining. Because, hey, we'll, we'll get over it. That's Thanks, right. everyone. Yeah. Seriously, um, we love this. You're looking for a camper. Somebody has a camper. We'll be the middleman. We like this. We can be yeah. in the place where y'all meet. We do it all day. We can do it online, too. Yes. And um, sharing this live stream to your camping groups also helps other people get involved, hang out with us. Sometimes we're just chatting like this. Sometimes we're doing stuff. Um, but we are always here to answer questions, whether it's about trailers, tow vehicles, events. We like answering questions. So mm -hmm. sharing, uh, sharing this live stream to your camp groups is always really helpful. Um, you two are awesome. Thanks for supporting Special Circumstance. Well, duh. <laughs> we'll support them forever. We love them. Um, is Lance going to offer a non-slide floor plan longer than the 1475 with a GVWR less than 5,000 pounds, similar to the Rockwood 19 FD floor plan? That's a mouthful. First of all, the only other non-slide they have would be the 2075, correct? Right. And I do not believe the gross weight is less than 5,000. It is not less than 5,000. Um, I haven't heard any talk of that. So, but uh, I think there, there is a lot of interest in the entire industry right now on non-slide trailers uh, and the popularity of them of different brands. So, I can't speak to that specifically. No one has told me that that's getting built. I will be talking to more Lance people in the next few weeks. Uh, but generally, they keep it pretty tight-lipped. If you know something I don't, then cough it up, <laughs> and I will have more, uh, more pokers to try to find out what's happening. Yeah, and we don't know of anything right now. We tell them this all the time, and we will keep passing it along that this type of floor plan, type of unit with no slides is wanted and needed. Um, exactly. So you just gave us another voice to go tell Lance what to do. Don't yeah. know if they'll listen, but Angela, you canceled because of heat. You know what? That sucks, but, <laughs> but probably you know, the right choice. If you're going to be miserable, just be miserable you at know, home. Then be miserable at home, stay safe, and that's good for you. Princecraft rocks the community. Is we that do our everything. brother company, Princecraft? I don't know, but we could be Princecraft if we needed to rock I'm with Prince the Craft. community. I'm so glad we rock the community. You guys are... Prince and Princess. We just want to be part of the community. We just, we just want to be supportive and uh, bring everyone together in the camping world. Amethyst, it'll be a while before we can get a trailer since we're also dealing with cancer treatments for a family member. Things are just way too tight right now. And that happens. Sometimes the research... Totally get it. Part is the important part. So focus on that. And when you're ready, you're ready. And maybe if you find, like you said, a used one that you want to work on, sometimes that's a great distraction mm -hmm. and a way to look forward to something new and different. Kimberly, my husband and I are headed to Terra Lingua Big Bend area next week. Next week, speaking fun, of hot, we're fun. not going to talk about it hot. But no, but Kimberly really is going there. to check in with us next Friday and let us know she survived. All right, you promise? <laughs> we want to hear back, because Kimberly. Tell us how it is. We need to see how it is camping in the heat in Big Bend. Yes. Um, you can tow a max of about 5,400 pounds, but I would rather it be much less than that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's smart thinking, first of all. Well, the 1575 has a slide, and it's going to be about 3,500 pounds. She's not the same one who asked about the Ah, uh, Oh, it wasn't. 
That's true. But She's the one. We get confused. Yeah. No, I just wasn't paying attention. My goodness, I feel like I've been talking a lot. You have been talking a lot. I Sorry. love it. Thank ah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and we're trying to talk and read and yeah, pay I'm trying attention. to be Clint, which is hard because I need to be like three feet taller and have glasses. I have a Hyundai Tucson all-wheel drive SEL. Max tow is two thousand pounds, and I seem to want the ones that are more than that. Totally get it. Your max tow capacity is two thousand pounds, so with the Tucson. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. You, you still, need you need something itty bitty. Yeah. The two that we mentioned still would work though. Um, there are some pop ups out there that are lightweight, but you know, even though they're canvas tops, they open up pretty big, they're not always very lightweight. So canvas tops don't always work for you because they have a steel frame and kind of heavy base to them. So I don't know. Check out the two that we said. Probably 1,500 pounds. You could do that. Like you a teardrop. Do that. Exactly. Yeah, or something real little mm -hmm. like a teardrop would work too. Yep. All right. Yep, yep, yep. What else we got? Well, I, I've all. We I've, have a, a, another um, you know what weekend in front of us where it's, we're not going to talk about it being so hot. So, I don't know, if you can't camp, what else could you do that's fun? Playing camp? Sleep. <laughs> uh, sleep. Catch sleep. up on all that laundry you won't be doing while you're camping. That's right, that's right. See what kind of beer is in your fridge, not just what's in Mike's fridge, who apparently has a Goose Island beer. Thank you, great RV craft Princesses. Dang, oh, you guys we get are on too nice. I know. We you are guys princesses are nice. today. Where's my crown? I don't know. I personally love the hybrid trailers like the Rockwood Rue. Are there any other similar to that that you carry? We don't carry any hybrids here. Nope. We did have a few brands that used to make a hybrid like uh, the um, R-Pod uh, had a hybrid that was kind of cool, but... It wasn't a good seller. It wasn't a great seller. Especially so. here in Texas where the heat just doesn't mix well with canvas. It just doesn't. And now there, we don't carry any hybrids because all the manufacturers that used to do it don't do it anymore. They've discontinued that model. Amy, ooh, good advice for forgot your name who's going to Big Bend, but take a generator to Terra Lingua, wow. experience two power outages in March, one lasted 14 hours. Yeah, All right, it's so. definitely a little iffy out there in Terlingua. That's good advice. So. Always so nice to have you guys join us for lunch on Fridays. <laughs> Nothing like wings and fries with Lindsay and PJ. Mike, you're making me so jealous. Wings, <laughs> and fries, and beer. And Goose Island beer. <sighs> so, okay, maybe that's what we need to do next week. Oh, we already figured out eating on Eating Friday on camera is not a work. good idea. Well, did we say anything about drinking, though? No, we, we drink on camera all the time. But all we have in there right now is a bottle of white wine, which uh, Sue and I could not open for the life of us last week. We tried. Why? We couldn't find a, a corkscrew. There's two of them in the kitchen. Where? We looked everywhere, and you were busy, and we were, like, tearing things apart, and I was about to get a shoe and put the wine bottle in the shoe and bang it on the wall because apparently you can open wine bottles like that. And Clint <laughs> told me, no, no, Lindsay, don't do that. And so it was a whole thing. And... <laughs> I don't know. That might have been entertaining for Friday We lunch. couldn't figure out how to open the bottle of wine. So it's still in there. <laughs> Shots of beer. That's awesome. <laughs> Shots of beer. Hey, anybody remember that game when you, when you were younger? We used to do Power Hour where you take a shot of beer every minute for an hour. Oh, Cutting. there's something wrong with that. Way drunk. Something wrong with that. But I challenge everyone to bring your favorite... Alcohol or non-alcohol beverage to Noon Live next week. We're all, all going right? to cheers. We're going to have a happy hour lunch. Lunch, happy hour. Bring your fave. And, and we'll I will get together and, and, and we'll share what we're drinking. Yes, so much more fun than camping in the heat. Yes, all right. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Drink. We're going to drink next Friday. Wouldn't so. it be great if the wine bottle is a screw-on cap? 
That's yes. <laughs> literally what I was thinking last week when we were trying to open this wine bottle. Why do they even make corks anymore? It's like fancy wine has corks. Well, I heard years ago, yeah, even the good wines are going to screw caps. And I'm like, okay, but I don't drink usually the really good wine, so I need the mediocre wine to go to screw caps. And yeah. that hasn't happened yet. Well, I think this wine so, was a gift from somebody. It was. Very and, nice uh, gift from someone. So I'll find, after we're done, I'm going to go find the uh, corkscrew. And y'all bring us your favorite beverage on Friday. Next Arbor week. Mist wines. I Arbor think they have Mist. A screw cap. You know yeah, what? But, but pretty much <coughs> I think I'd go for Mad Dog before I go for Arbor Mist. I'd get, I mean, Arbor Mist will give you a headache before you oh. even drink it. Do you drink Arbor Mist? Yeah, I guess we're dogging something that somebody might like. Uh, I can't. I don't. I like can't it. do it. <laughs> it's too. Yeah, but, you know, I drink Ed's Red, which is $3. Ed's Red? It used to be three dollars. I mean, with inflation, maybe it's four. Yeah, you've had funny. Ed's Red, but have you had Josh? Josh. Mm-hmm. He's like Ed, but he's like four dollars. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I did find several for four or five dollars at Trader Joe's. I didn't buy them, but I saw them, and I was like, I should try those. Mm. Well, so Friday noon line. It isn't about next the money. week. All right. We have so much blue space above us. This is so it's weird. Okay, I know it is. All right, well, if you guys had enough chatter to be able to relax, eat your lunch, take a break from your day. I know I have. Actually, I'm starving, so I'm ready to eat, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to say it one more time. It's hot outside. It's hot outside. We are drinking next Friday at noon, with or without you, so please join us. It's really more fun when everybody's here with us. Uh, Clint just walked in with the camera. Hi, Clint. Hey. He looks hot. Hey. -o. Have we said hot enough times? I mean, like, really seriously. Enough. Heart. Heart, Valerie. Uh, enough hot. Right, Wonky guys. owl. Wait, wait, Have wait. What did I what? miss? Wonky owl is good. What? I don't know. Oh. There the you single go. serve Boda bottles have screw off caps. Wonky Owl is good from Trader Joe's. Okay. Mike, is there anything you don't know about anything? <laughs> when it comes to eating and drinking? About anything? Mike's kind of our guy. Or camping or electric scooters or I don't know. Everything else Mike knows about. Coffee. I don't know. Y'all have a great week. We love you. Thank you for joining us. It makes our day. Hi, Clint. Hey. Clint's joined us so he can say he was here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Bye. I think I